first season ever of Chamber Fest. <laughs> I've heard so many great things over the years about Chamber Fest, including from my husband, who was playing here just two years ago as a cellist, and it's been the most wonderful and fun and happy week. Uh, so this Penrith Trio for the three of us um, is the first time any of us have played it, right? Yeah, it's been a really cool journey learning the piece. And this piece that we're about to play is so indicative of his personality, uh, which was one of extreme thought and care when it came to writing the piece. But then when the player has it in his own hands or her own hands, um, it's really about the player's freedom. And one thing that's really interesting about this particular piece is that he's fascinated by the number three. Not only are there three players here, um, there are three cadenzas, one for each instrument in the very first movement. Um, each of the cadenzas really explores the strengths of each of those instruments. For instance, the viola cadenza is dark and sultry and melancholy. The cello cadenza explores an incredible, vast range of the instrument and has the most variety in it. And the violin cadenza is virtuosic and intense and crazy. I thought you guys were crazy. Oh, also with the number three, he introduces this little three note motive in the cello cadenza especially, which becomes the centerpiece for the main part of the movement. And then that develops into the second movement, which feels as though it's in a three, four meter, even though he's kind of shifting it all the time. His in, uh, chromatic harmonies are incredibly expressive, as are the rhythmic <coughs> gestures. Um, it's quite a wild ride, and we hope you enjoy it.
Thank <laughs> you. 